we're in Cottingham today guys don't know what we're gonna be finding here Rob is over there at the cash machine can you see him my brother is just parking the car so we'll see what we can find today should be exciting so they've got the Halloween stuff out in this one this is British Red Cross I'm gonna try and film in most of the shops but as we know a lot of them like to disco and I can't have that on my channel so we'll see what it is but this looks expensive five pound for a wig 480 for the um, fancy dress mm. we'll see we've got Gotham City for four pound fifty but no figures that's not good so Rob and Mike went all the way up there looking to see if this was the first shop and it is <laughs> so now they're coming back at least they'll get their steps in here <laughs> no more shops no more <laughs> so these are mega expensive i think yeah wasn't buying much in here at all sadly and i always am drawn to the christmas stuff but yeah they had a set of mugs um i think they wanted 8.99 for them that's not too bad but they're in a nice box maybe i should have picked them up guys what do you think i'm not convinced and this 10 pound yeah we've got one here that one was they don't have any records. no they don't have any. it was too expensive in there wasn't it mike yeah it was a bit dear so we're hoping this one will be better let's go see hopefully they won't have loads of music so again here we are in a place with loads of music i've just shown you a few things in here um i didn't find anything it was so frustrating today there was just nothing that i wanted everywhere had loads of glassware but i just wasn't feeling it i mean that's a big glass that could hold my drink but i'm not shopping for myself i'm trying to find things to sell nope nothing in there haven't found anything yet guys it's a bit bleak i like to look at a rocking horse but it's 10 pound just a bit too much at least rob managed to get some stuff here eh? so rob got nothing in there he's come out empty-handed yeah that's so we'll move on to never to be repeated <laughs> yeah we're gonna see rider next you can see it right there yeah we nearly missed out Oxfam, guys. Let's go have a look in here. I'd like to have a look in the window first, see if there's anything cool. It's a nice globe there, but it's not for sale. That is nice. I think it's all just decoration. Is there anything over here? Oh, a nice witch's hat again, not for sale. Do they have anything for sale in here? We'll find out. <laughs> Turns out they did have stuff for sale. Um, again though, everything was really expensive and there wasn't anything that I really wanted to buy. So yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a bust to be honest. Um, yep, there's Rob being cheeky to me probably. Yep, <laughs> if you can lip read what he said, let me know. Um, I loved these cats but they weren't very heavy and I just thought, I don't really want to be spending that amount of money on something that I'm not sure about. And I was being watched by the cashier. That was fun. Um, I always like to wait and see if they say anything about me filming. <laughs> it's kind of a little game I play. But yeah, the cats were cute. But yeah, I'm going to show you some prices now. Prices of the crockery and glassware that I am not interested in buying at all anyway... But thankfully, these prices are so high, I wouldn't buy them anyway. So they've done me a massive favour. Um, I mean, it's all nice stuff. But there was a set that I picked up and had a look at. Um, I tried to find something on Google and I could find nothing on it. But all the inside of the cups and the jugs and everything was cracked. And they wanted £30 for it. Here it is. Here it is. This is the one. Could find nothing on this. And it was all cracked inside, inside the jug. So I was like, wow. He's got his hands full. He's my maybe pal. Maybe. Uh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. So I was looking at these for my son. But 
even for an end user, they were just a bit battered. £10 for these and they were filthy. So yeah, they stayed in the shop and I think they'll still be there next week. Well, we've come out of there with nothing as well, haven't we? I told you never to be repeated. Yeah, I know. Nothing at all. There was a tea set in there they wanted £29 for and I tried to search it online and couldn't find a thing. So we're going to go in here now. Sue Ryder. What's he done? <laughs> Right this. I've got the right. Keep the connects. Five pound fifty. I have to get this myself. Three pound fifty. That's quite nice. So I got my mug, and that is it. Nothing else. We're gonna go and have a look in here. Um, I don't know whether I'll be filming inside because it's really small. So I'm not sure, but we'll see if we can find something. What you got there? Thinking about getting them for me, they're a nan. Hmm. Need some new everyday trainers there. They're really nice. For the cost? Yeah. How much are they? For a fiver. Yeah, get them. Nice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Treat yourself. <laughs> it's a really cool shop here. Got, they've literally got all sorts. <laughs> so Rob got a pair of Lacoste trainers from there for five pound. Um, we didn't get anything. I've bought my mug and that is it so far. These two are having a right good yarn work. <laughs> Talking about trainers and things, I think. Anyway, we've got a couple of shops left, so. Fingers crossed, we can find something. I need to buy something to sell, guys. It's bleak. It's my trolley there. <laughs> That's nice. Sorry about the flashing, guys. Three pounds might be worth me picking up. I'm going to have a look around first. Changed my mind and decided to have a look at it before I go look around. It does have like a couple of minor chips. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's a melee one, which is pretty good. I'm thinking someone could maybe do it up because it's a little scratched. But I think for three pound, it might be worth me picking up, guys. I can do pretty well with these. Looks like Mike has found a secret stash of records. <laughs> I wonder what's in there. I've got a lead. Too much. So I got the jewellery box. This is the last one now. Hoping I'll be able to get some stuff in here. Let's go see. Capri shoes. I tend to stay away from those. So it's music time again. And yeah, loads of glass. If there's anything on here that you think I should have had a look at, let me know, guys. I was so disappointed with the bric-a-brac today. It was bleak. So, so bleak. But look in here. Right, so this is an interesting little story. I went to have a look at the cabinet. Couldn't see how much these paperweights are. But to be fair, I haven't done well with paperweights in the past. I've sold a couple. They tend to stick around, so I don't buy them. And um, We've had ornaments like that before that I've ended up taking to the car boom. But there's two teapots here. And I wanted to look at them, so the lady come over. She looked at that. around me, <laughs> What is that good piece in there? So they had a Le Creuset teapot, or Le Creuset, as I used to call it. £20 they wanted for it. And they had this really cool teapot next to it. £20 they wanted for that. It did have its box with it. But I'm just like, pfft, too much for me, sadly. So I'm just walking away with my lovely um, jewellery box that's a bit battered, but nice. And a mug for myself. Just shows you though, guys. You win some and you lose some, don't you? I must have been, or we went into, let me think, we went in a Sue Rider a British Red Cross, a Oxfam, a, um, I know it's sort of Sue Rider again, <laughs> RSPCA, um, a Scope and a Dove House and also Cottingham All Sorts. Seven shops 
and I bought two things. Rob got some clothing, he got a few bits and bobs and he got himself his trainers and my brother got some records but it's not the best of days and this can happen and I think when people show videos where they're buying loads of stuff um, it can mislead people and I'm not saying everybody does this because they do we all show different videos but say you're starting to think about being a reseller and you go onto YouTube and you put in a um, make money at a charity shop or make money online um, with charity shop purchases or whatever you'd put in to search probably neither of those things there's probably much better things you could write in so don't well you can try them let me know in the comments if you try them and see what comes up but I think if you come across a video where someone was getting loads of really good stuff, you could be easily misled into thinking that that is how it is all the time. But it isn't. I've done so many videos where I have been out to charity shops and bought nothing. And ones where I've bought one, two things. And people are like, wow, you know. And I'm like, I know. And it feels like a waste of your day. But you've got to go out to check. If you don't go out to check, then you could miss out on some great stuff. So it's like Catch-22, isn't it? You've just got to get around. And luckily for me and Rob at the moment, my brother, bless him, he's taking us here, there and everywhere in his car. Um, when he can, um, he's away next week. He's going on holiday. So massive shout out to him and my sister-in-law. Hope they have an amazing time. And um, we will miss him because we won't get to spend our day with him. But um, I'm going out with Lisa next week, um, Tuesday next week. So um, I'll be doing some footage then as well. But I think because our local car boot is off at the moment as well, because Hull Fair is coming, um, it's a bit, you know, it's one of those things because me and Rob use public transport to get around usually. We were talking about this today, how we spend most of our time travelling. We went to Cottingham today, which is a 20 minute ride in the car from where we live. But on buses, it's about an hour maybe longer depending on how quickly the buses come can, can be like an hour and a half probably by the time we've gone to a bus stop waited for a bus got the bus got to the station waited for the next bus got on that and all the stops and everything the traffic and the massive roundabout where a bus goes to get to a place we can spend most of our time doing that so we're really grateful when anybody wants to take us anywhere in the car because it just saves us so much time and if we'd have done the bus journey today to Cottingham we would have been very disappointed and we would have spent a lot more time a lot more time what we could have been doing other things looking for stuff but because we're in the car it wasn't so bad anyway a um, massive shout out to my brother mike he's amazing show your gratitude in the comments for him please guys he's great and um yeah i'll see if there's anything else for me to put on this video before i end it but yeah wow it was an eye opener of a day and I don't think a lot of the charity shops had a lot of stock in either, which was quite shocking. Usually the full to the brim, I felt like they were a bit empty today, which is sad. I suppose I'd better get this lot listed. I've been procrastinating for the last day and a half with this. And it's not that I haven't been doing other things because we are always busy. I'm either doing parcels, I'm either doing admin, um, I am outsourcing. I am doing so many other things to do with the reselling that we do but this stuff has kind of just got forgotten about so I think I am going to end the video here and go and sort this out. Rob has gone out with my brother to hopefully pick up some more clothes for a future tilt show. Um, I mean I might find some gems to put on eBay but we'll see. Um, I know everybody has been talking about this new email that we've all got from eBay um, basically about private sellers not paying any fees but they'll be kept monitored again there'll be a close eye on them and how business sellers now are basically just getting um, enhanced features to stop fraudulent returns and things I mean I'm like how are you going to police that but they should be doing that anyway in my opinion but you know eBay we'll see how it is Right, I am going to go and get these photographed, guys. And I've got some things to test as well. 
I might do them on a video. I might not. We'll see. I'm just going to um, photograph the things that I can. And then anything that's electrical, I'm going to put aside and decide what I'm going to do with it. Anyway, guys, take care. Be kind. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. And thank you so much for coming on. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And give the video a big thumbs up. Lots of love. Ta-ta.